We're the Punctured Crew, Australia's premier body piercing studio. Meet our team, our honey bee. She's our belly dancing queen. Renee, nay nay, yes yes, one of our best. Get your geek on with the wizard, Sir Dion. JD, with over 5,000 piercings, he's the lad you want to see. Benji, he knows his stuff, he'll hook you up. Tane and Cass, crude and crass, versus fine and sass. Good golly, Miss Holly. And I'm Corrie, the boss lady, who has to keep these punks in line. Together, we are the Punctured Crew, a whole new reality for body piercing in the 21st century. Get punctured. And remember, kiddies, do not try this at home. On this episode of Punctured, I'm going to be piercing a girl named Jade's nipple. Now, apparently she's already had a crack at it herself, which means I'll probably be fixing the damage. I love the pain that I feel when I get them. I guess it's the adrenaline rush that I get. This episode, I'm going to be piercing Jessie's nipples. I've never actually had anyone play with my nipples before, so I can't be sure if I'm going to enjoy that or not. In this episode, I pierced Laura. She was my triangle. Cherry popper. A little bit nervous now. <laughs> I'm Jesse. I've um, moved up from a small country town in Moobie North, South Gippsland. I used to work down there as a kitchen hand at the Green Ridge Brewery, which is a locally awarded brewery for all of its different beers. And I've just moved up to Melbourne to study sports development down at Deakin in Burwood. I have my um, two spider bites in my lip and that's all I have at the moment. I've had this side of the lip done a few times but I took it out, kept falling out. I'm going to get my nipples pierced today because um, I've always wanted to get them done and I reckon they'll look pretty cool. I've been told all week by my mates that it's really going to hurt. I'm kind of getting a bit nervous about the pain but I think I should be right because I'm not known to bleed, not known to faint so I should be sweet with the pain and I do have a tattoo on my chest. That's meant to hurt a lot and if I can cope with getting that done then I should be able to cope just fine with getting my nipples pierced. I was a good boy last night when I went out with my mates. I made sure I didn't drink too much alcohol so I didn't get hung over and it wouldn't be so hard to cope with the piercings because I'm horrible at hangovers. I've never actually had anyone play with my nipples before so I can't be sure if I'm going to enjoy that or not but hopefully with these piercings and if I find the right person then it could be a bit of fun. Hey doing, man. Hey man, what's going on? Um, I'm interested in getting my nipples pierced. Sweet. So I had Jesse the country boy. Um, came in, wanted to get both his nipples pierced. You are 18, yeah? Yeah, man. Cool, no worries. Did you have any particular jewellery in mind? Something nice and black. Something to match the lip? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. It's all right, well, let's go to the jewellery cabinet. I'll show you the jewellery that we uh, use for most nipple piercings. So you said you wanted to go with black jewellery? Yeah, pretty much. Cool. Most genital piercings, we start at genital 14 Genital piercings? Gauge. Yep, it is a classed as a genital piercing. Even though it's not downstairs, it's still classed as a genital piercing. That's why we require 18 plus ID. He seemed pretty uh, cheeky and pumped at first, but, uh, after explaining uh, the situation, he kind of got a little bit nervous. I reassured him that uh, I'd had it done before and it was a pretty easy process and that he's had his lips done, so it's pretty easy comparison pain-wise. Um, and that he was in safe hands with Renee. With most genital piercings, we start at 14 gauge and work up. You've got 16 gauge in your lip at the moment, which in fact is uh, two gauge thinner than what you've got going in your nipple, which is 14 gauge. And you do have a few options once the piercing is healed. We prefer to pierce nipples with a barbell first. Reason being is it stops movement and getting caught on things, so the healing process is a lot better. You do have other options like getting the ball captive ring up the very top, which is otherwise known as a BCR. Or you have the circular barbells, which look like a horseshoe, and you can put different attachments on it, like spikes or big balls. We have different colour attachments as well, which you can also get on your barbell as you want, so you can mix and match because it'll be all the same size jewellery. We'll get you in the studio, measure up your nipple, to make sure we've got the correct jewellery, and then we'll go from there. Hi, how are you going today? I'm good, how are you? Not too bad. Um, I was just interested in getting my nipple pierced today. Cool. Um, have you had a piercing done in that area before? Yes, I have. Cool. Yes. My name is Jade. I've come here today to punctured body piercing to get my nipple pierced. I got my right nipple pierced when I was 15. A friend did it. Um, it was a pretty silly idea when I was younger. I've decided to come to a more professional studio so that it doesn't get infected or bleed a lot because that's what happened last time and I really don't want that to happen again. I used to have a lot of piercings in my face and my ears and all over my body and I started year 12 at school and I wasn't allowed to have any of them so I took them all out. 
but I've always loved the piercings, the tattoos. I've always been interested in it, always loved getting them. I would probably classify it as an addiction. I love the pain that I feel when I get them. I guess it's the adrenaline rush that I get. And I've always had a physical attraction to people that have tattoos and piercings, so I guess I want other people to have that same physical attraction to me. So obviously you're familiar with how the process <laughs> yeah, goes. Yeah. Awesome. Um, we've got a few selections of different types of jewellery. Yep. Um, were you hoping for a ring or a barbell? Thing? Anything surprise me. Alright, cool. So what have you got previously in, at the moment? Uh, a barbell. A barbell? Yes. And is that in surgical steel, black steel? Surgical steel. Surgical yes. steel? Awesome, okay. We yep. generally start with a nipple piercing in 14 gauge. Yep. It's a lot better for that particular area. Feels a lot quicker as well. Yep. What we'll do is we'll get you into the studio after we've signed you up and we'll measure your nipple to make sure we get the correct jewellery for you and all be sweet. Awesome. We have obviously the option of surgical steel which is what you've got. Um, you can also get attachments for it yep. so you can have diamonds as well. We also have zircon gold jewellery, titanium jewellery and black steel jewellery. Yep. Um, you don't necessarily have to go a barbell. Um, you can go a captive bead ring or a circular barbell. Yep. Um, regardless, all of our jewellery is pre-sterilised. It goes through an autoclave system which kills all bacteria. Um, it just comes down to what you want to choose. Uh, I'll probably go with the barbell. Barbell? Okay, yes. Cool. No worries. Well, let's get you in the studio and get you sorted out. How's it going? Hey, bro. How Having are a good you, day? Man? Good day? Busy? busy? Yeah, pretty busy. So a lad, Luke, came into the store. He wanted to get his spider bite pierce, which is a pair of piercings on your lips there. Wondering if you could fit me in to get a lip piercing, spider bites here. Okay, so you want a double? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Like a ring and a stud. Yeah, oh, a ring and a stud. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. A little bit different. I yeah. like that, man. I like it. Yeah, why do you want to get that one? Um, one? My favourite rock star is, um, he has it. Okay, cool. Who's that? Endigo. No, you probably wouldn't have heard of him. No, nah, He's pretty nah, indie, man. pretty good. <laughs> He's pretty indie? Yeah, I'm pretty not indie anymore. Oh, so, right, yeah. yeah. Uh, don't really know him, but I can do that, man. I can awesome. make you look That'd famous. Be... That's no stress at all. <laughs> That'd be right? awesome. What we need to do, I just need to get you to fill in a form for me, buddy. Yeah, that's sure thing. Okay. With this form, it's just basically just a waiver, just saying we have all the rights ah, to all the piercing. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Dude, just need to grab your ID and we'll fill this bad boy out. The only thing is, I don't have my ID on me. Like, I oh, lost okay. it like, last week. I'm still waiting for a new one. Yeah, cool, man. But well, I I'm 20, like okay. I am tall and you know. <laughs> Yeah. As you can tell, like I have quite hairy and stuff, so like, <laughs> you can obviously tell that I'm 20. When I asked Luke for some ID, he said he didn't have any, and he pleaded and pleaded quite hard to actually get the piercing done, but I did have to knock Luke back, because Australian law is, without that ID there to prove your age, I'm not going to touch you with my needles. Um, well look man, to me, yeah, I'd say you're 20, maybe 18, I don't know though. Uh, that said, it is a state requirement that we have your licence, I need to see some form That's of ID. That's ridiculous. It can really? be a little bit man, but That's it's one of ridiculous. those things because at the end of the day, you could be a man child, you know, hairy chest. I'm 30, man. You've got more hair on your chest than I do. And so there's absolutely no way you nah, can do it for me today. bro. I couldn't do it today, but I'd definitely love to get it done for you, man. Okay. Can you come back with some ID, maybe? Yeah, I should be able to do that. How yeah. long do you think it'd like take, Like a week or so, maybe. Jeez, give that's easy, man. We're going to be here for at least another 50 years. So, <laughs> you know, you've got plenty of time right, to come awesome. and see us, man. Yep. All I say, just bring some ID in. Yeah, grab a bite to eat before awesome. you do. Yep. Bring some cash and get yep. ready to get pierced, my friends. All right, awesome. Cool, man. Thanks, man. Come back. We'll see you, dude. Take care. It's a bit of a lesson for him. Next time you're going for a piercing, bring your ID in with you. First warning sign, I'm going to have to be fixing up some, some messed up shit. How are you feeling? Okay. Wouldn't mind a cigarette. 